He said, oh, not to lie. Be satisfied with favor. Be satisfied. I'm talking about just being satisfied with the favor of God. Where you know that you can rest in God's favor. Where the favor of God is on you to, uh, to the point, Elder Shawana, that you are just satisfied in the favor of God. Like you can just enter into God's rest. Yes, you're believing God for things. Yes, you've come up, up, up uh, against opposition. Yes, sometimes what, what, what I'm going through doesn't look like what God revealed to me in my prayer life. But, but I am still satisfied that there's a level of favor that is on my life. And he said, and full of the blessing of the Lord. He says, not the lie, you shall be full of God's blessing, the blessing of God, the favor of God, the anointing of God, the, where I am empowered to prosper. And I am empowered to prosper to the full. And Jesus said, that, that, watch this, John 10 and 10, till it overflows. You know what I'm saying? So, so there's a blessing that's on my life, and the blessing doesn't just come a little bit. It comes to the full until it overflows. I mean, there's a level of blessing. That is, there's a level of favor that is on this church that could be on our lives to where we can just rest. We'd be satisfied that no matter what we're going through, we are going to experience God's favor. Say amen to that. Amen. And this is what happens when you get to this level. When you rest in this type of blessing, when you rest in this type of favor, then it doesn't mean, Elder Georgia, that we don't face challenges. Right. It may mean, oh, I know you don't like what I'm about to say. It may mean that we face more challenges than we've ever faced in our life. But this is what happens when you, when you know that the grace of God is on you. When you know that the favor of God is on you, you can look at the challenge, watch this, and you have a completely different perspective. Where there was a time in my life, Elder Georgia, where, where some of the challenges that we just went through, Isabella and I, there was a time in my life where, where those challenges would have destroyed us. You know what I'm saying? Well, there was a time where we couldn't handle that. So now, now, when I know that I'm satisfied in the favor of God, although I'm facing a challenge, this is the perspective I have, Shima. The perspective is this. God, trust me with it. You can look in the mirror and say, girl, look at what God trusts you with. There was a time in my life where this would have destroyed me, but it's not going to destroy me now. Now, now I'm going through this thing and I'm going to come out on the other side. I'm coming out on the other side of this with a testimony. And, and through me, through this situation, what the devil meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for my good. You know what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians? At first, it says that had the princes of this world known what they were doing, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. When Jesus was going to the cross, Elder Shirley, the devil thought he was winning. All the demons were getting ready to throw a party. But the Bible says that when the first drop of blood hit the ground, it sealed their fate. If the devil knew any better, he would leave you alone. The more he messes with me, the stronger I get. The more testimony I have. You know why? Because I'm full of God's blessing. You know why? Because I'm satisfied with God's favor. Say amen to that. 